Hello, Pastor Eli Lietzow out of Wheat Ridge Evangelical Lutheran Church in Wheat Ridge, Colorado. We're going to talk about uh, good over and against evil and how the things of the Ten Commandments are intrinsically good and they are for our good. Uh, and evil isn't necessarily just the opposite of good. That's the easy way to, to define it, and, and I think it does a decent job. But also, I think the, the way that our Lord speaks about evil is, is a little bit different than just the opposite of good. If you remember the, the creation, remember after every single day that God creates something, he creates uh, light and the stars and the moon and, and the heavens and the birds and the uh, fish in the sea, and then he creates all of this stuff. And inevitably, he caps it off with, with mankind, right? And after every single day, uh, he speaks out loud this, this word of, it is good. Not just like it could be better or it could be best, there's something higher than it, but no, good is in, it's holy, it's perfect. It's like me, it's like Yahweh, it is good. There's no evil here. It is good. And then it caps it off with, with man and woman, right? Adam and Eve being brought together, one flesh union, marriage, right? Towards life, towards procreation. And it's the pinnacle of creation. That's good, good. It's goodly good. It's perfectly perfect. It's, it can't get any better. This is the way of our Lord. This is exactly what he's given to us. And then evil comes in, but evil doesn't come in necessarily as the opposite of good, as if maybe there's this yin and the yang out there, and there's a, a good God and an evil God, that's Satan, right? And they fight against each other, and we're not sure who's going to win. No, we've got the victory in Christ Jesus. We know who wins, right? It's God, and we have the victory. So we do too. But how do we speak then? Because God is the God of, of life. He's not the God of death. And we see after every single day of creation, that's, that's good and very good and super good. And that's, that's the things of life. So the things of evil is that which is at enmity with God or uh, that which has made itself an enemy with God. That's Satan himself and all the demons and that's our own sinful flesh and that's the world. But that means it's the things that are against or enemies of life. They're the things that are in love with and seek after death for their own detriment, whether they know it or not. So when we're going to discuss this stuff, we're going to talk about how, how can we engage our friends, our family members, our classmates uh, about this good and loving God, um, and we're going to talk about the things of life over and against the things of evil, over and against the things of death. And why then, even the Ten Commandments are given for our good. That's an exciting thing. I think it should be. So I hope this works. I hope it's edifying for you. I think it will be for me. We'll find out. Uh, let us all know. And I look forward to continuing. The Lord be with you. Thank you for watching Higher Things Video Shorts. If you're looking for an easy way to support higher things, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that bell icon for content notifications. You can follow Higher Things on social media and on our website, higherthings.org. If you love what we're doing, we ask that you remember us in your prayers and donations.